Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about uh, the update the Laravel from version 10 to Laravel 11 and why you may need to update the Laravel to Laravel 11. There are several reasons why you may need to update the Laravel framework, but I'm going to start with the security. The newer versions of Laravel often includes security fixes that address vulnerability in the framework. Next one is the new features, because Laravel releases new features with each version, and these features can make your development process easier and more efficient, and can also add new functionality to your application. Also we have a performance improvements, so newer versions of Laravel may also include performance improvements, and these improvements can make your application run faster and more smoothly. Uh, bug fixes, so bug fixes are another reason to update Laravel and these fixes can resolve issues that may be causing problems with your application. So in general it is a good idea to keep your Laravel application up to date with the latest version. This will help to ensure that your application is secure, uh, is performant and has access to the latest features. However, uh, there are also some things to consider before updating the Laravel and the first one is the compatibility. So updating Laravel may break compatibility with some of your third-party packages. Uh, you will need to make sure that these packages are compatible with the new version of Laravel before you update that. And the second is testing. Before you update into a new version of Laravel, it is important to test your application to make sure that everything still works as expected. And I have created a Laravel project, as you may see here. And this project has a version 10.48 as you can see and the PHP 8.3 now if I open the VS code here here I have in the composer JSON I have a filament installed as you may see here uh, Jetstream, Sanctum, uh, Livewire and also the Eloquent sort table okay so uh, Eloquent sort table and filament are third-party packages and you may need to know if these packages uh, support Laravel 11. Okay, so let's open here the Laravel website. And I'm going to navigate the upgrade guide. Okay, so high impact changes, uh, medium impact changes and low impact changes and I'm not going to navigate through all of them. I'm going to show you how I can update this project Laravel 11. And here we have the high impact, the PHP 8.2 is required. Now in my case I have that uh, PHP 8.3 as you can see here. But if you don't have that you need to update uh, at least PHP 8.2. Okay, next we have the composer dependencies and you should update the following dependencies in your applications. And here are only the first party packages, okay. In my case, I have, as I told you, uh, also the third-party packages. And let's see if I open the terminal and run the composer. Why not uh, Laravel slash framework 11.0? And we can see here the couple packages I want to update. So Sanctum, Jetstream, uh, Collision, Framework. Those packages I want to update, I need to update. And also if I run the composer outdated, there there direct is going to list us. So as a measure release available. So here we have the Nervesh framework. We have the eleven point zero point five available. Also for the chat stream we have five point zero. For Sanctum we have four point zero and for collision we have 8.1 and I'm going to update all of them so let's clean this and let's come here also let's open the Laravel so first we need to say Laravel framework to be 11.0 and let's go to Laravel 11 uh, Laravel framework and say 11.0 next one is the collision to be 8.1 we have here so let's change also that, 8.1. Next one is the breeze I don't have, I have just stream. 
and we need to change that to 5.0 so here we have 5.0 next we have the sanctum to be 4.0 so down there 4.0 and I think we are okay yeah we are okay now if your application is using Laravel cashier or passport sanctum and so on you will need to publish their migration to your application and if I search for sanctum yeah here we have sanctum now updating sanctum Laravel 11 no longer support Laravel sanctum 3.x so you need to update that to 4.0 then we need to run this command so I'm going to copy that and paste it here and also then in your application config sanctum.php configuration file you should update the references to the authentication session encrypt cookies and the validate CSRF token so let's copy that open the sanctum scroll down and here we have the middleware and replace with what we have copied and I think we're okay now let's save and let's run the composer update hit enter yeah everything works correctly now if I see here let's close and let's open the project so the Laravel project right now we have 8 10.48 but if I refresh we have the Laravel 11 as you can see let's go and register I'm going to say test test test.com and add the password again the password and say register okay it's working let's open the profile we can update the name so test updated save and saved also as you can see let's go back to dashboard okay and let's log out everything works correctly as you can see okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like such a video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much